Hello viewers, I'm Phantom Yosha, also known as Spook from Ship 4, and I'm here to bring you a new video for Farming Deafness 3. But before that, let's start the video by thanking to Uberclips for testing this farm and providing the info. The link to his Twitter handle will be in the description of this video. So let's see here. Why farm in West Kavaris? The main reason is the hundreds of light, robust, and crisp Kavaris meats. But that's not all, you can also get up to 10 to 30 Deafness 3s and many other Optimus per hour. The more players you have, the better the drop rates. The second reason is because it's easy to set up. There's less land to cover, and so requires less coordination and less people. So now we know what we get, but what do we need to host a farm of our own? What I recommend is a passworded room. While at Ryuger, it's recommended to create a passworded room to allow you easy and fast block transfers to avoid gigantic enemies from interrupting your farm. While we're on the topic of blocks, make sure you start this farm on the emptiest block available because if the block you start in is almost full and you make an empty password room, players will have a hard time entering your room when the block becomes full. As for buffs, make sure to get your food buffs from a Ryuka device and get your mag buff. Also, join a full party to max out your rare drop rate, and if you're feeling lucky, you can use your other rare drop rate items if you have them and when it's PSO2 day. As for classes, you're free to use whatever class you're comfortable with. But if you want to be fast and efficient, I recommend using a class with wide AoE attacks, preferably the Force class, with a Rod or Talus, and the use of the technique Zande. It is the best choice for any deafness farm. No one's going to change my mind on that. Now we can get into the areas of the map. In area 1, players will start with what we call Normandy, located below the horrible flapping cocoon. Players will cover the coast down to the mag. The rest of the area of 1B in Normandy will avoid a large patch of land because it's mostly empty without any many mobs. you want to focus on the area within the red boundary on the map. Area 2 is southwest of the Bizarrean Mountain. Here you should assign at least 4 players. 2 players will be on top of the cliff, and the other 2 will be at the bottom of the cliff. This place is small, but the spawn rate is fast, and if you get a trial, all four players should jump in and wipe it fast. For Area 3, you'll be able to locate it northwest of the Blizzardi Mountain. This section should be assigned with at least three to four players or more. The spot provides a lot of room and has a chance to include stellar pack trials. Now before we move on to Area 4, let's focus on the field. You'll notice a massive abundance of enemies here, and it would seem like a good idea to try and farm it, but in reality, the amount of trials that trigger here is quite annoying and it's enough to make it less worth it than it is with the other areas. So please avoid the field as much as you can. This will prevent any constant trials that would appear there. Otherwise, if you don't, the spawn rate of many areas will come to a halt until the trials are completed. Finally, we're at area four, which is south of the clockwork prison cocoon and has two spots to cover. The group at 4A will handle any random trials that happen to spawn in the field. Now, I did mention earlier that players should avoid being in the field, but the sad truth is that no matter what we do, at least one trial will appear there. All the players in 4A have to do is just go into the field, complete the trial as quickly as possible, and head back to 4A. As for players in 4B, you can all remain in your area and clear all the mobs that spawn. And with that, I believe that concludes everything you need to know for the West Kavar's death farm. Remember, if you're in Ship 4, we do have a Ship 4 organized farming discord where we host the latest and best farm every week on Friday. The link to the discord is on the map and will also be provided in the description of this video. I once again like to thank the Uber Clips for the farming method and everyone else who helped contribute to help produce and optimize the farm. May the RNG gods be with you. Peace.